This is a sensitive issue because the men and women on the borders are sticking their life out every day. We bow down to them for their services to the country. All of us are well and doing what we have to do only because you are doing what you have to do, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do what we are doing. <clears throat> Death is a constant companion for everybody. I'm not trying to belittle this, but a soldier is more conscious of this than anybody else. Most other people believe generally that other people die, they never think they die. But a soldier knows he or she can die any moment. So that awareness makes the job very different from almost anything else that we can do. We must understand this, that in this country, one of the greatest teachings that have happened in this country, I'm not an expert on this, but one of the greatest teachings which is hugely recognized in India and across the planet by many, many learned people is the Gita. You must understand Krishna chose to give the teaching in the battlefield. <clears throat> he could have done it, twelve, thirteen years they were in the jungle, peaceful jungles. They, he could have given the teaching there, he, they could have set up an ashram and given a teaching, but he chose battlefield because a human being never realizes the nature of who or she is unless mortality is hanging in their face. The reason why I am constantly talking about death, I refer to people's death, but then it becomes very uh <laughs> oppressive if I keep on talking about their death, so I keep talking about my death. To a point where recently somebody asked, is Sadhguru healthy, is something wrong with his health? <laughs> Nothing wrong with my health, but you may be healthy but you still die. You may be young, you may still die. You may be fit but you still die. Only when you conscious of your mortality, Exploring the nature of my existence becomes a natural aspiration. What is beyond this body? I am not trying to belittle the situation of the Javans and the officers who work on the borders facing extreme situations and danger and death in real time, not as a, a concept, real time. I am not trying to in any way belittle that, but I am saying this is also a tremendous place where one to turn inward because it is natural for a human being when you are conscious of death, you want to know what is beyond this body and that longing is called spiritual process. It doesn't matter what is your gender, caste, creed, religion, Everybody must have one little spot within themselves which is beyond their body, which is beyond their mind. If this comes into their experience, when the time comes, either in natural ways or in unnatural ways, when time comes to shed this body, you will do this very gracefully. For every human being, not… I'm not just saying for a soldier, for every human being it will come. You don't know when it will come. But if you had an experience beyond this body, beyond this mind, your ability to handle this aspect of life would be incredibly better than the way it is right now. <clears throat>